You'll be able to use this video even if you do not learn to read traditional notation. However, we have included an introduction in this section. Music is traditionally written on a staff. A staff consists of five lines in four spaces which represent the different notes of the musical alphabet. The notes represented on the staff come from our musical alphabet. They are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. After the G note, the alphabet starts over with A. This also works in reverse if you are playing or writing the notes backwards. G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, and so on. Bass music is written on the bass clef. Whenever you see this symbol, the music can be played on a bass guitar. The notes of the bass clef start with G on the very bottom line. The space above G represents an A note. The line above A represents B. The space above B represents C, and so on. Notes can extend above and below the staff by the use of ledger lines. There are also different versions of most notes, called accidentals. Accidentals consist of sharps and flats. To make a note sharp is to raise it one fret on the bass. To make a note flat is to lower it one fret on the bass. One way of writing sharps or flats on the staff is to place the symbol before the note you want to change. Another way of writing sharps or flats is to use a key signature. Simply put, a key signature is a group of sharps or flats at the very beginning of a staff line. The sharp or flat note in the key signature indicates that all notes of the same name will be altered throughout the piece of music. For example, if the key signature has a sharp symbol on an F, you are to play F sharp in place of F for the remainder of the piece of music, unless otherwise indicated by another accidental symbol. When a sharp or flat note needs to be changed back to its original, non-accidental state, a natural symbol is used. Most bass guitar music uses both tablature and staff notation, which allows you to choose which method of reading you would like to use.